Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. We are from Group 7. Would like to present our discussion about integrated pest management or IPM for cocoa plant. Okay, so before we get started, let me introduce our members first. The first one is Ahmad Rudi with student number 172. The next one is me, Sandi Setiawan with student number 173. And Ana Rustiana with student number 192. And Azalia Sana with student number 195. Okay, so the first one we want, we want to discuss is the introduction. Cocoa is an, is an important plant in Indonesia because cocoa as a foreign exchange earner is the source of income for farmers and other communities. Based on a research conducted by Karnawati et Aulia in 2010, Indonesia has the largest cocoa crop production in the world. However, it often faces many obstacles due to the pest attack. These pests include cocoa pot borer, fruit sucking ladybug, and spawn caterpillar. In general, farmers use chemical insecticide to control pests, but it gives negative impact to the environment in the long term. Hence, the utilizing plant-based pesticides and biological agents species, friendly known as integrated pest management, is needed. Okay, next is cocoa pot borer or conocorpa cramerella. Cocoa pot borer (CBP) is one of the most important limiting factor to cocoa production in Indonesia and Malaysia. The newly hatched larva tunnels drop the floor of the egg cell and burst perpendicular to the pot surface. Larval fending result in pots, may ripen prematurely with flat, small beans and often stuck together in a mess in a mass of rear mucilage. Okay. Next is te control techniques. The first one, cultural practice. Cultural practice. Uh, can be carried off by pruning frequency and complete harvesting and sanitation to reduce CBP infestation. One of the example pruning is done to reduce the humidity around cocoa plants at the beginning of rainy season, so it doesn't support the development of CBP population and biological control. Biological control can be care of by using entomopathogenic nematodes, predators, and Bifuria basiana and X parasitoid of Trichogrammatoidea sp. One of the examples spraying B. basiana should be spray on young cocoa pots with a dose of 15 to 100 grams per, per hectare. Next is Veliopetis sp is one of the main pests of cocoa found in almost all a province in Indonesia. Destructive study of this pest are names young insects and imago. Names and imago attack the young flower and the sticking is moved into the tissue, then stuck the fruit fruit. Beside young fruit, hello. Helopeltis SPP also attack old fruits, leaves, and shoots. Okay, this is the several biological control that can be used to control this pest, such as by using black ants, river ants, and also spraying Bifuria basiana. Black ants although they separate the Stoclaicus and river ants or Osophila samagina prevent the activity of the Heliopolis SPP to suck and lay eggs on the fruit surface. Based on a conducted research by Karmawati et al., 
the use of black and wavered ends in controlling Heliopis SPP has been applied to cashew plant and the results are quite satisfying. And then the next one is by spraying Bifuria basiana with a dose of 20, 20, 25 to 50 grams of spores per hectare to the Heliopis SPP. Then it will die after two until five days after application. Next. Okay, the next pest is pan caterpillar. This pan caterpillar is a fully bagus insect. It can be seen as the pest also attacks some other crops. This pest has short stadia of life includes eggs, larva, pupa, and also imago. Span caterpillar caterpillar attack young leaves caused leaf holes and also bear plain shorts. Next. There are several ways to control this pest by using biological control, such as use a botanical pesticide that extract from the leaves and seeds of the certain plants, and also we can use natural enemies such as entomopathogen and parasitoid that found to be effective in controlling span caterpillar. Entomopathogens attack larva stage of this caterpillar. On the other hand, parasitoid flies attack pupal stage of span caterpillar. Next. Okay, the conclusion is cocoa is in Indonesia as a foreign exchange earner is the source of income for farmers and other communities. It is an annual plant, perennial, which produces a processed product known as chocolate. Pests that attack cocoa plants are cocoa putpur, uh, or conopomorpha, cramerella, fruit sucking ladybug, Hel Heliopeltis spp, and span caterpillar, or hypocidra talaka. Several ways to control this pest on cocoa plants are using natural enemies and biological agents such as Trichoderma sp and Puparia basiana. There are a reference that we use. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.